Tonight, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office is actively working to crack 28 cold cases dating back to the 1970s. Two Works For You reporter Corey Duke shows us how a new task force plans to solve the cases and make arrests. Corey? Well, Brian, that is the goal, but these cases will take time and effort. Many case files sat in a closet collecting dust when leads ran cold. But now, with more resources and a fresh set of eyes, investigators are looking to bring families justice and closure. It's, it's real hard. Um, there's days that I sit and cry. I pray every night for justice. It's been 18 years since the Deans last saw their little girl's face. Dean Dean was 16 when she went missing after work, found nearly a week later dead on a hill in West Tulsa. Her murderer walks free to this day, as do many others involved in Tulsa murder cases that have run cold. We're trying to encompass all unsolved cases. Today, a new investigation into these cases begins as the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office tackles 28 of Tulsa's unsolved murders. I do believe that there are some cases here from, from decades ago. Mike Huff solved some of the highest profile murders in Tulsa's history in his 31 years as a Tulsa police detective. He's currently head of the International Association of Cold Case Investigators. With today's new technology, these unsolved cases stand a better chance at finding hard evidence, potentially leading to the arrest of a killer. I hope they find answers to ours, but as long as they find answers to one. The cases will be reassessed by a cold case task force made up of 10 members from retired Tulsa police and FBI investigators to homicide detectives, among many others. What's more important than human life and, and uh, you know, resolving these matters for these uh, families? Each member of the team has a different skill set crucial to solving these crimes. The task force is also working to contact the families of missing persons reported to the agency in the past. Through the work of cold case task force member Mike Nance, who represents NamUs, uh, he's informed me that we have 23, approximately 23 individuals that have not been entered into NamUs through biometrics. Sheriff Regalado says the agency will work to obtain these biometrics and enter them into a national database, which is part of the initiative to revisit cold cases. The goal is simple, to seek justice so that families like Dina Deans can feel a sense of vindication. It's made up of volunteers who are investigating for free. The team hopes to answer these, uh, have answers to these cases within the next few months. Reporting live, Corey Duke, Two Works for You.